Hello there, good people of YouTube. Welcome to the Mr. Sin channel. Today we're going to be talking about communism. We'll see what communism is, why some people like it, and why some people don't. So let's figure out what's going on in the world of communism. Communism's goal is to create a classless society. Now, communism's been practiced throughout history and even today in a variety of ways, but true communism tries to get as close as possible to a classless society. If you're going to remember anything about communism, remember classless society. When Karl Marx created communism, he had this idea of capitalism being evil. He thought that capitalism would just drive revolution in society. That eventually people would get so upset with all of the losers and the few winners and it would rise up and eventually take over the government and the businesses and the bourgeoisie. Now, Karl Marx thought this would lead to socialism where we would see the bridged gap between the different classes, and then eventually another kind of revolution and we would get to communism. Marx believed that for communism to work, we had to have a big government, at least at the start. The government would come in and collect all the resources, the means of production, and then distribute them evenly. Over time then, the government's role would continuously shrink. As people became equal, there would no longer be this constant fighting over scarce resources. And when everyone had the same amount, there would be no more an incentive to continuously outdo people. And so then by having everyone be the same, we would have order and the government would no longer be needed. And so in true communism, the government then would continue to shrink until eventually they go away. Because if the government stays, that is a class in its own. And then people in the government would be above others. And that would defeat the purpose of a classless society. Communism's great on paper. It sounds really good. Unfortunately, we haven't seen a lot of examples, at least on the large scale throughout history, of communism working. Normally what starts to happen is communism will be put in place and then a dictator or a big government will take over and they don't relinquish their power. That's kind of the human error. So the same with communism is great on paper, but bad in practice, partially because of human error. Now in smaller societies, we've seen communism work. Just again though, on the large scale, it doesn't work that much. People give up too much individual freedoms and corruption normally comes in. Hopefully you can understand exactly what communism is, how it's supposed to happen, and why it just doesn't necessarily work. I'm Mr. Sin. Thank you for joining us today to learn about communism. I hope this video helped. Make sure to check out my other videos on the different economic systems and also markets. Until next time, I'll see you online.